Here are a few useful tools for everyday use. So these last couple of days have been rough in my life. I feel like I hit this wall and just felt so much resistance when it comes to creating. I've been feeling really overwhelmed when it comes to my business and employees, but there's one thing that's been tremendously helping me and that's the Headway app. They're not paying me to say this either. I basically just opened up the app and then typed in resistance and then it recommended me a book about how to deal with resistance. I recommend everybody use this app because it basically just summarizes a book and then it'll give you snippets that you can read and listen to throughout the day. If you don't have it, I couldn't recommend it enough. The book that I've been listening to is called Do The Work. And one thing that I learned immediately is that fear of success is the true essence of resistance. There's a whole formula to move through daily resistance that we feel that keep coming up and I get it, it's hard to deal with sometimes. But I think my biggest takeaway from the book is we have to start even when we're not ready. Don't let fear overcome you. You can do it, just keep pushing through and you will prevail. When you have a lack of identity, this is when your true artist really comes out. A lack of identity is your chance to define yourself through art. And when you're scared to start something, you should be. Let that fuel you. Let the nervousness take you to where you need to go. That nervousness usually comes when you're on the verge of something great. It's your internal guidance system. Just imagine if you were Spider-Man and this is your Spidey senses. Just find someone that you view as a hero and model them. It's okay to gather inspiration from other people because everything can be traced back to other people. There's no such thing as an original idea. It's just a part of being human. No idea is entirely unique. But that doesn't mean you have to copy other people's work. Instead, break it down and find your unique way. Find a home for your ideas. When I wake up in the morning, I come down the stairs and I sit in an area that I call the creation station. It's basically like this couch bed thing that I just do all of my brain dumps in. I write down all the things that I need to get done or jot down video ideas or anything that comes to me. But after that, I have to move everything to the internet to organize and track everything. I've been using the Sun Sama app to input everything into my calendar. This makes it simple to track what I need to get done and it's super easy to use. Lately, I've been all about the ease of use. Then after that, I usually put everything into my Obsidian Vault, like my ideas or my scripts or everything. But as I was scripting this video, this company called Scrintle reached out to me to review and sponsor this video. I usually don't do sponsorships when it comes to note-taking apps because I use Obsidian and all, but I've been looking for a new place to like script my YouTube videos because Obsidian hasn't been making that easy. So this last week, I've been trying out Scrintle, so I'm gonna give you an honest review about what I think about it when it comes to like scripting inside of the app and that's what I've been using it for. So I'm going to tell you what I like about it and what I dislike about it. First of all, it's a lot that I like about it. It's super simplistic and I'm always looking for the simplicity. It doesn't take much to learn this app. All you have to do is click and start writing. And I love that it can just easily drop into a focus mode when writing. And everything is easily searchable like an obsidian. You can search every word that's inside of your scrintle, which is so cool. I also like how easy it is to just tag things and create boards and stuff like that. Literally, you can be like a six year old and figure this app out. There's a whole bunch of features that they have that I know that they told me about, but I've been just using it as like a baby to see if it can just easily fit into my workflow. And honestly, it really has. I love the dark mode feature. This is one that I use all the time. And I honestly don't have much to complain about. The app is very easy to use, but it's still in beta. So I didn't get to test out like the mobile app. And I use mobile apps a lot when it comes to note taking apps. So yeah, I'll let you know about that one. And I also couldn't find the autocorrect feature. Like when I'm writing, you know, sometimes I might mess up and it usually corrects me. But other than that, everything is great. I recommend this to everybody that's looking for a simplistic note taking app to not get like overwhelmed with like all the features and stuff like Notion or Obsidian. If you want to save money and try out Scrintle, the link is in the description. All right. And next we've got Sun Sama. This is a fantastic app. This is what I've been using lately for my calendar, right? So instead of like using Google Calendar where I just go inside of it and I just put everything inside of my calendar, it can be hard to like kind of go in there every single day and have a habit of like recreating notes and stuff like that. So I've been doing it in the Sun Sama app and it does this thing where it makes you review the day and review it in the morning and at night. But I do it in the morning where I just say like, oh, I got this done. I got that done. I got this done. And it just moves the things I didn't get done into the next day, which I absolutely love. So I had to mention them in this video. The mobile app and the desktop app is dope. The only thing I don't like is the iPad version of it. But other than that, it's pretty dope. And the last thing I want to mention is for you AI users, if you want to use AI and take notes and manage your entire business in one place, I couldn't recommend anything other than ClickUp. ClickUp is like literally just dominated the space because they've got all these cool templates that you can use. It's easy to use. It's easy for beginners. It's easy for experts. It's easy for everyone that has like 100 employees all the way to zero employees to use. So I couldn't recommend that enough and you should not 
miss out on ClickUp if you have a business at all. They've got this feature that I love called like summarize documents where it can easily just summarize any document that you have. So it can make it easy for you to make like YouTube content out of these documents. So here are my useful tools for the week. If you like this, like, and subscribe, I'm going to be doing this every week, just talking about new tools or maybe the same tools that I find useful throughout the week.